This is Roy Chua, Principal at Everything, and I'm coming to you live from Paris, France, at Upper Side Conferences, SD WAN and SASE 2021. Um, given what's been happening with the Omicron variant, um, some of the attendees uh, unfortunately had to go virtual, um, but uh, this is one of the uh, first few live conferences that we've had in, in basically over two years. And uh, we've had good engagement here on the floor. Um, been great seeing a lot of people again live. Um, and those who were brave enough to get here and travel here are certainly ready to talk about SD WAN and SASE. And so we saw a lot of good content around SASE and SD WAN, the def definition of SASE, different ways to deliver SASE, you know, what's the right SASE architecture, kind of competing architectures and go to market. As well, we uh, heard a lot about the use of AI and ML, machine learning, uh, ops in the use of SD WAN and in, in the use of that in SD WAN and SASE and the applications of that across operational aspects, across troubleshooting, right? Um, as well as in the use of security, um, use of AI and ML in security for detecting anomalous behavior and also for financial reasons, uh, optimizing costs um, and the like. Hi, my name is Amir Zamora. I'm the CEO and co-founder of FlexiWAN, the first and only open source for SD-WAN and SASE. In the presentation I uh, gave today in the morning here Paris time, I spoke about the two options of providing enterprise and networking security. And I spoke about the option of bringing together various solutions or having a single vendor uh, type of solution. And there I also spoke about uh, what the service provider can do when they look at the reality of networking, the MPLS is going down, both quantity and price, and there's one of the three options is to actually ignore it and just continue and stick with their MPLS, not recommended, but that's an option to stick their head in the sand. The second option is to resell, and that's what most of them are actually doing. They take a vendor and they just resell it. Usually they resell multiple vendors. The third option, which is the harder one, but the most uh, promising one for the future, is to innovate. And this means to bring technologies from various companies, unite them together into a single service, not a product, a service that they offer to their customers. Well, it's great to uh, see a lot of people here on the floor and I'm personally happy to have the opportunity to be on the floor, of course. And uh, the mix of, of the participants is uh, service providers and vendors, of course, and enterprises. Uh, always very interesting to hear the different views about the industry. So while the vendors are all heavily promoting SASE and advanced concepts, which are in everybody's presentations, of course, we know the enterprises out there are still struggling to decide which sd one solution is the best in many cases. And uh, maybe it's not the first deployment of sd one that they have, but many of them are now looking for the second type of deployment deployment for expansion projects and so on. And uh, from the service provider side, of course, they also need to match the uh, customer enterprise requirements. So um, I've been talking with a lot of people here specifically about the practical aspects of deploying SD-WAN in terms of scalability, in terms of resiliency, in terms of manageability, and of course, overarching the security aspects. So I think all in all, it's a, it's a fascinating conference. Although SD-WAN is maturing, the topic is still very exciting on the technical way. And there are very diverging, differentiating concepts out there offered by many vendors. The conversation has been has been broadened um, in terms of other aspects of SD WAN and SASE, different go to market approaches, um, different solution architectures, um, and different services. Hi, I'm Gail Smith. I'm executive director at the Cavell Group. We're advisors uh, to the to the service provider industry, working in cloud networking and cloud comms. It was great to be here in Paris in person. I've been. Uh, dying to come to an in-person conference so I hopped on the train and came from Brussels uh, and it was very nice to see all uh, the old friends and some new uh, uh, companies here uh, and it was also learn you know I was most interested in learning about uh, the vendors new hosted services what they're doing in SASE uh, and 
how the uh, service providers and vendors are working out uh, the issues of data ownership, uh, training data, uh, and combining service provider solutions and vendor hosted solutions. It's been a good conference and it's been good to see everyone again.